What's going on everybody? My name's Rising Donut and welcome back to the second of spring here on Stardew Valley. I've just quickly gone to bed and here's what's happened. We've got we only put one clay in there, so we got twenty gold. So somewhere soon, could be right after I wake up. There we go, it's saved. We are more likely going to get a fishing rod. Probably be as soon as I check the weather. Perfect. You want to check the weather. If it says it's raining the next day, it's like, it's perfect. You don't have to water the plants and it prevents you, like here, it just prevents you having to wash them. Quickly check this. Oh. Uh, I keep finding cool stuff, but my back. Oh, it's an advertisement. It's basically um, promoting his 24 backpack because I struggled to fit everything in. Oh, hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you, Willy. So, I'm going to quickly wa whoops, water all these. Because we want our parsnips as soon as. What, what we're going to be doing today is meet some more of the townspeople. I'm sorry guys, but you won't get me an attempt to do fishing. I hate fishing. Fishing on here is so hard. They need to really sort that out. But the one thing I want sorted is the, oops, the Xbox One patch. So I can go into year two. Because the longer I play this, honestly, it's it's not gonna go well. I wanna because I the reason why I did one of my own was so I could know what what if there's any problems. I mean I've watched gameplay, don't get me wrong, but that was early access. This game has only just recently come out. When I say it's only just come out, um, I have to pre-record because I'm going to be really busy over Christmas, so guys do enjoy Stardew Valley, don't forget to hit that like button down below, and if you're new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more daily content, because trust me, I'm going to be posting this daily. This stuff, well this game is addictive. The exclamation mark's nothing interesting, it's just upgrading what I need to do, so I need to go to the beach. Whoops. And... Let's quickly plant all these. Oh, perfect, we've got a chest. <laughs> I'm going to put the chest on inside for now. Because it's a lot easier to store everything. Um, building materials and stuff can go down here. That's where I have it in my one, so it'll be easy enough for me to remember. You do need actually... Bleh, you actually do need sap. Sap is useful for torches. Torches creates a bubble of light around your character for a certain radius so it's good to have it'll come clear to one collects and all these don't worry oh no no so don't you worry you're not missing out on anything I will be doing a day-to-day -day experience you will not miss anything I mean, I didn't do much after the last episode. I pretty much went inside and slept. That's all I did. Um, I'm going to quickly check if this is open. I do want to go down to the docks. But here we see people. So I'm going to quickly say hi to Harvey. He's the local doctor. We've got a nurse who is... Might be Maru. Yeah, it's Maru. Oh, well. Moving on. I did to double check. I didn't know if she did a job. Oh. Who's this? This is Jody. 
And this is Emily. This is Marnie. Hayley. Let's enjoy the cutscene. Ahoy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big hole, I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. He walks closer. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Basically, this is going into a chest, because I'm not fishing. Just hear me out. I don't like fishing, it's hard as hell. There's good water here in the valley, all kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. Heh <laughs> heh. That's what my old puppy used to say. Anyway. I realised I said anyway in the wrong text. Should be, uh, used to say anyway. But I did use the comma correctly. <clears throat> As I say that, my throat begins to dry again. And I've got a bit of a sore throat. But, yeah, I'm not really fussed. I'll still get a video out for everyone. Oh no. Okay, I'm coming back. <laughs> Basically all this stuff is useful for eventually... We walked past something in the first episode. We went to see Linus and... Robin's place and their family. We then went down and we went past an old place. It was abandoned. It's called the community centre. What that will do is, you'll understand later on, but you need stuff to complete it. That's how you unlock stuff like the greenhouse. So, oops, I need that. We're just going to unload everything we see here and go back. So until I can get a second backpack, I can't really do anything. I can't do a lot of stuff. Uh, in my second backpack can go quite well. Um, my first save, my personal one, the one which is struggling with the glitch. That one, my character on that one only has uh, the second backpack, which is altogether 12 inventory slots. We've only got 12. So we need to be reasonable with what we do. Sooner or later, there's a mine. We go in the mine, we get um, ores. So I'm definitely going to need a second backpack for that. Uh, this is repairable, but it requires 300 pieces of wood. So we're not going to do that just yet. There was a guy that came out of that hut. I need to find him. Uh, this house here is Mayor Lewis' house. Here we have, I think it's Gus. We go walk around to say hi to him. He's in charge of the saloon. 
can't meet everyone on Thursday, which is a shame. Let's see if Alex is out. Nope, he's still working out, okay. Or whatever he's doing. He's still doing something. Some of these won't allow you to enter them if there's no one in. So, Le Leia, Leia, that we have met last episode, we can't enter if she's not there. I can't do that yet, I don't, I don't have access to the mine. Uh, we've met everyone in there. Yeah, I don't think I met him yet. I what what I'm about to say is going to be a bit much for like gold, but they should make a uh, 48 backpack slot, but make it cost like a hundred thousand. It'd be worth it. I'd do it. In here, we should have found a few people. Like, there's a few people here and there. In here, there is someone. Um, God, I can't remember what his name is. Vincent and someone else. Oh, Penny. We've got to find Penny. There's Elliot down there. That's the one I wanted to see. He was near the shack. There's one. That's Penny. So we had Vin Vincent, uh, messy hair, jazz, black hair, Penny, this girl. She is single, by the way. I pointed this out. So many people that I know. This is Sam. There's. I think there's two more guys, there's a Sebastian and a Shane. Still need to meet Alex. Oh. Oh. Pam. Oh. Pam lives with, I think, Penny. That's Alex. I'll quickly check. So here's who we found so far. So we got. We need to meet Clint, Shane, Sebastian, and the Wizard. It's a good start. Um, and I think the Librarian, if I haven't met him yet, which is Gunther, he doesn't count, I don't think. I might be too late. There's a, like a time limit that you can do this stuff. If I'm correct, this finishes at 4. Yep, 9am until 4pm. This one, I've more than likely missed it. Oh, I can go in there. Yeah, he's gone for. Uh, he misses a couple of books, and over here where my cursor is, when you go to the mine and you get minerals and artifacts, you can put them on display here, you'll lose them, but Gunther offers rewards, so it works out nicely. Penny also comes here with Vincent and Jazz to do like, uh, she's like the teacher, as you could say. <laughs> I don't really need the hoe on me, but I need to keep it just in case. There's a reason why, but I can't really show you at this minute. What happens is in this type of terrain, there will be... Like some, it'll, it'll look like there's worms, and what that allows you to do is you can hoe it, use your hoe to till the soil, you'll get whatever comes out of it, and it could be, it's, it, it could be anything to be honest. It's not a set thing, it could be anything. Pretty sure altogether there are two of these type ponds. There's a slightly bigger one down here, uh, somewhere down here. Oh, 
so uh so can just say sap there's a reason why you don't eat sap it takes away two energy energy is this one sooner or later when you go in the mine which the mine is here there will be a health bar because there will be mobs I don't mean mobs as in like minecraft mobs I mean weird mobs so we're going to quickly go to sleep level 1 foraging you can make wild seeds and a field snack uh, foraging is like when you pick up an item farming is like watering crops, uh, farming stuff. So tomorrow there's going to be a light breeze. What I need is that. As you can see, all the crops are, like watered straight away. May um, proceed. Sooner or later, there will be something called you unlock a tapper. That's that's useful, pretty useful. Um, you attach the tapper to one of these trees. There are three different types of trees. There is a pine tree, pine tree. There is a maple tree, and there's an oak tree. If you put a tapper onto the any of the trees, what it does is it collects the almost like the you wouldn't really call it juice. It's like the syrup of the tree, say. So, if you put a tapper on a oak tree, you get oak resin. If you put a tapper on to a maple tree, you get maple syrup. And if you put a tapper onto a pine tree, you get pine tar. Those will be used. You can collect them. You can sell them. They're artisan goods. They can be used as crafting as well. They can be used to make a loom, uh, a keg, and a beehive. I'm definitely sure that a... God. Maple syrup is used to make a beehive. Oak is used for... Oh. Is used to make... I'm pretty sure it's a keg, and the other one, pine tar, is used to make a what you call it, a loom. So in here, what I'm going to do is quickly come in here, turn pull you off. Coal can go in there because it's a natural resource. Dump you out. Take the leak. That's what I've just done. I need the wood. So here's what I'll probably do. Um, the chests I'll be after making are this one for random stuff plus seeds. One here for gems and stuff. This one will be resources, aka all this. And tools will be here, which will be fishing rods, wallpapers, etc. I don't know if that's a seed or anything, it doesn't look like it. So anyway, let's quickly get all this down. Oh. You do get coal from breaking the stones. Um, I've been lucky enough to actually receive a geode. What a geode is, for anyone who doesn't know what a geode is, 
A geode is a rock which is hollow. Inside the rock, you take it to the blacksmith and they'll crack it open. It could be anything. It could be stone. It could be coal. It could be a mineral. It's basically random. If it's a mineral, then you can go to Gunther. You'll give it to Gunther. It will say if Gunther's interested or not. Same with if you find an artifact. You take it to Gunther. He will take it in. You can place it whenever, wherever you want in the museum, provided in the squares. And if you reach a certain level, like enough um, stuff, and or if it's value, he will give you a reward. What the reward will do is it will benefit for your, like it'll, it'll give you a random thing. But it, it's useful, it's worth it. Other things that you get from mines, you keep for the community center. So it all works out nicely. I'm going to put that in there. I don't really need you at this time. Get my final chest. Take out some of the stuff. It's good to collect the fiber and the stone. As you'll see in future episodes, you do actually need uh, plant fibers, stone, and wood. I uh, call them plant fibers. I've played too many seven days to die. You use it to make scarecrow. Scarecrows scares off crows that attack the field. What they also do is um, they have a radius of eight tiles, like outwards. It's not an adjacent, which will be a surrounding. It's a inner radius. That's why I've made all this. It should be a 6 by 6 and I've started off a little free here. So I'm going to call it the end of this episode for now. Um, we're going to hopefully meet the other four people that I haven't met. I'll check this actually. The other three people we haven't met which is the wizard, Shane and Sebastian. And we'll open up some more area. Hopefully, meet Clint as well. We haven't met Clint yet. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.